Hi guys, Rustic Red here. I'm out on the range and today I'm going to be doing some more comparing and contrasting with a few different kinds of 22 rimfire. And this time I will be including the 22 long, which I found in, in a gun store about a, a week or so ago. I was really surprised to find 22 long since it's not as common as it once was and I was really thrilled to and wanted to be sure to include it in today's video. And I'll be using some completely different ammo than I did in my previous one. And like last time, the gun I will be using is the Heritage Rough Rider. Okay, so I have the target set up. So I'll be shooting from left to right, starting with the 22 short and work my way up to the 22 long rifle. So let's see what kind of results we get with this particular ammo from this particular gun. Well, came as no surprise to me that all three of them went in one end and out the other. Well, started with the short from the bottom up. Every single one of them penetrated. About an inch and a half thick. Guess the whole moral of the story here is, do not underestimate a bullet just because it's puny. You know, because even a 22 LR can be as deadly as far as a mile, even though it is regarded or used more for a closer range. Now for a quick lesson. The 22 short is the oldest cartridge made today, first devised in 1857, and it has a bullet diameter of 0.222 inches. And it's the parent round to the 22 long, which was first devised in 1871 and it too has a bullet diameter of 0.222 inches and it's also the and that one is the parent round of the 22 LR which was devised in 1887 not 1884 as I said in a previous video but its bullet diameter is just slightly long bigger than the other two uh, with a measurement of 0.223 inches now you might notice here that the length of the shell casings for the long and the long rifle are the same. In my mind, this, this is pretty indicative of how the, how the long is the parent round of the long rifle. But the long rifle is probably the world's most popular cartridge, while the long is nowhere near as popular as it used to be. In fact, it is becoming obsolete, and I am not aware of any modern-day firearms that are chambered in the 22 long. Now, the 22 short has also declined quite a bit in popularity. However, I do not think that it is going obsolete anytime soon, or at least not yet anyway. And I do think that even though not as common as as it once was. Uh, I do think that there are still just a few firearms that are still manufactured today that are chambered in the 22 short. Well guys, that's going to wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something new. Take care of yourselves and be safe.